Hello everybody, my name is Chris with Daily Dose of DIY. What we're going to do tonight is offset text in Design Space. If you've been using Cricut for a while, you may remember back uh, maybe a year ago, we could print text. We could hit the, um, pretend like we were gonna print it and then it, we would get a bleed out and our text would be larger and then we could save that bring it back into design space and that would give us um, a bleed out, like the offset text. But we can't do that anymore. What happened was when Cricut moved offline, they took that away. But if you go into text and type out, I'm just gonna do my name. And it looks like I already have it on a script text. This font is called Hey Girl. And I'm gonna make it really big so we can see what we're doing. Of course, the first thing you want to do is come over to the top of the layers menu and click the ungroup button. And then that will allow you to move each individual closer together so we can see, or so it looks like it's supposed to, like it's a written out text. Once you're happy with the way they look, the I don't connect on this font, but once you're happy with the way it looks, select everything and then go down to the bottom and click the weld button so it welds it together all as one piece. And now our letters aren't individual anymore. From there, I might make it even a little bit bigger. I'm going to go to the top of the layers menu again and click the duplicate button. And I'm going to change this color just so it's different to pink. And to change the color, I did that on the top menu. Now I'm going to go back to select the black layer and I'm going to duplicate that again. And I'm gonna move it down just so it's out of my way and then duplicate it a few more times. So now what we can do is start stacking these duplicates on top of each other. If I place this one just a little to the left and a little up, it will make it wider. I'm going to go back up to the top here and change the color again so you can see how it is kind of offset. Of course, we want to keep going, but we want to move it just a hair over to make it a little wider and we can keep going with each of these layers. This one I'm going to go a little right. And then I just like to keep going back and forth to the left and right until I see it looks thicker. You can see the center of our H already filled in. And then once you get a few done, you can go ahead and select everything again and then come back to the bottom of your layers menu and weld that together. So now they're all stuck as one. You can also take your top layer if you go to the top up here in about the center and click arrange and then I'm going to send to the front. And then we can kind of see where we are. It's starting to get there, but I would like it to be a little bit thicker. I'm going to move that down, and I wanna keep going on this so we can duplicate it two more times. It gets easier the thicker you get it because then um, you're not working with such thin layers, right? You can just use the thicker ones and keep going. Now, you might see it's not going to be perfect, perfect. The back, when it's cut, it does look a little bit better. But the back, um, it looks more like a brush. If you look at the ends, it you kind of see it's not 100% super smooth. But once it's cut, it doesn't look quite as bad on screen. You'll be able to see that here in a minute. But as you add more, I just try to look like at that R and the I and see if I can 
line it up and maybe a little bit more straight so it's not so bumpy right there. And then we can take this one again, see how it goes behind, go to the top, click Arrange, Send to Front, and we can check and see how we're doing as far as the thickness. I think I might duplicate a couple more. It's something you're going to have to play around with and just keep going until you get it how you want it to look. Okay, I think that one looks pretty good. It looks pretty even all the way around the top and the bottom. So I'm going to pull that pink down again and select all the black layer that we've been working with and come back down to this bottom of the menu and weld it one more time. So now that the black layer is all stuck together, I'm going to move my pink layer to the front again. And then we can select both of these at the same time and at the very top click align and then center it. And they are centered on top of each other. So that is how I offset text in Cricut Design Space. Thank you so much for crafting with me today. Be sure to like and subscribe for more fun Cricut crafts and tutorials. Music